and that peaks. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what? And I was wrong. That's actually in Peter. I apologize. First Peter. Okay, two. that's what I was going to say. Please, please and, forgive me. Uh, what is it? Per, first Peter. Yeah, First Peter 2 and 9. Absolutely. Okay. And you're right. We're a chosen generation. We're a royal priesthood. That's it. That's who we are. But do we see it? Do we believe it? Because at the core level, you all, we can, look, we, we can read scripture all day long. But do you believe it? This is the difference, you all. I'm, look, I'm going to say this just as firm, and I believe it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find it for you in scripture. Because I believe this. I believe, I believe all of the word of God. I don't, I don't just pinpoint on what it is, the good, the bad, it doesn't matter. You know, whatever I'm doing, I don't tailor something around whatever I'm doing. If I'm guilty, I'm guilty. But I have to believe all of it because all of it is breathed by the Holy Spirit. Let me see if I can find this right here right quick. Go to Mark, go to Mark um, 16. And start at 15. Because y'all, at some, at, look, at some point, you're going to have to try God. You're going to have to try it, okay? At some point, we're going to have to try it. Now, he told us in Malachi, he said, prove me. And I think sometimes you all that we're afraid to ask God questions and we're afraid to put him to the test. Now, let me, let me debunk a myth right quick. I know when you were growing up, I'm gonna debunk this myth now. When you were growing up, you were told by your parents, don't question God. Let me say this about God. God is God enough that he can answer any question that you have. That's number one. And if I wasn't to question him, then he's a different God than when Moses questioned him. <laughs> okay? All right. So I don't want us to believe that. I want you to understand that he wants you to question him. Now, I do believe that they, they said that back then because the pastors didn't have the answers. That's me. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. And if I'm wrong, you know, the Lord knows I speak this in humility. Um, but God is God enough to answer. Paul said, I have all the mysteries. He had all the mysteries because he was seeking God and he was asking questions. That's why the majority of the New Testament is under the revelation that God has given Paul. Now, with saying that, let's look at Mark 16. And he said unto them, 16 and 15, and he said unto them, go ye all, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. All right. He that believe and is baptized shall be saved but he that believeth not shall be damned, right here. And these signs shall follow them that believe. I believe that, I believe that. Now, now notice what it says. In my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with the new tongues. All right, we're not gonna get into that. This is not the time to get in that, but I will deal with it. I, I gotta deal with it. I wanted to show you this is because do, do we believe all of the scripture or have we gotten to a place where some of the scripture that it's, it's well, may be contingent, well, it's not happening anymore, this, that, and other. Because y'all, that's something that we have to do. It's, it's, it, it's God the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. If he's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore, then everything that we read now is in the forevermore, you know? 
because we're in the present, all right? So yes, he's the same God yesterday. He is the same God today, and he's the same God forevermore. And we have to believe. I just want us to believe the word. See, many times everything else can, can, can pull our attention from the power that's in God. In many cases. But what God is desiring, this is what God is desiring. He wants us to understand that there is a spiritual realm. He also wants us to understand that he has given us the ability to operate in that spiritual realm. This is why Paul said what he said. He said, listen, even in times, because you are, remember, you're sons of God. He said, even in times um, where you can't even pray. He says, the spirit will make utterance for you. The spirit. All right. So why, now, I'm not, now the question is, why is this important? Why is it important? Now, Okay, here we go. I'm glad you all asked that because you all ask that question every time. Why is it important? I feel your spirits asking that question. All right, here it is. Notice we've been dealing with spiritual realm. We've been dealing with the spiritual realm, okay? There are, there are certain angelic, demonic presence that's over territories. Did you all know that? I'm going to show it to you. Let's go to Daniel 9, I believe it is. I think that's Daniel 9. Is it Daniel 9 or is it Daniel 10? Mm. Let me see. I'm about to find it. I want you all to put this in your homework, too. Y'all need to read Daniel 9, too. Put that in your homework right now. Go to, go to 10 and 13. I want y'all to read uh, Daniel 9 um, and cross it over to, um, to 10, okay? Because that's going to give you the context. Look at 12. Let's, let's, let's look at 12. Everybody have that? All right, let's read. Then said he unto me, fear not, Daniel. From the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, the words were heard, and I am come for thy words. Oh, my God. And let's go further. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one in 20 days. The prince of Persia, this is Daniel 10, 12 and 13. What this is establishing, this is what this is establishing you all. That's why I told you to read chapter nine for context. What happens is, is that there are different demons, the territorial spirits over areas. And, 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 and here's an amazing thing, because it's here in the text. Here's an amazing thing. Because they're territorial spirits, 
your words are extremely important. And I'm going to show it to you. Your words, your prayers are extremely important. Watch this. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one in 20 days. That's 13. But, comma, look, if I told you, that's your shout message right there. That's your moment to shout. He says, Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me. And I remain there with the kings of Persia. Now I am come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days, for yet the vision is for many days. So look, there are, there are spirits are territorial. Demons are territorial. They, they inhabit over areas. You knowing who you are, this is why you, you have to know that, that on, when, on Mount Zion, according to, uh, to Hebrews 12, now that you've come to Mount Zion, you, uh, a city on the hill with an innumerable company of angels. Hebrews 1 and 14 said, are they not all ministering spirits sent to minister to the heirs of salvation? Now we know that Jesus had not yet come. He had not yet prepared a place. But even here in Daniel's, we find out, we found out the power and the grace of God that while Daniel was praying, the prince of Persia was catching his prayers, keeping them. The God said, listen, from the first day, I heard your prayers. But the prince of Persia withstood you, meaning that demonic spirit. But look at what God did. He sent Michael. And I'm here to tell you that there are going to be times in your life, there are going to be places in your life where demonic presence are going to be strong, but your words are stronger. Your anointing is stronger. Why is this important? Because angels are organized by way of power and glory, just like the kingdom of darkness also have different levels and ranks. Go to page 18. I'll show it to you. And for those that doesn't have um, the book, look at Luke 1 and 19, please. Look at Colossians 1 and 16. I'm going to call these out. You may want to look at it later on. 1 Peter 3 and 22, Romans 8 and 38, Ephesians 1, 20 and 21, and 6, 12. This will give you um, that now. What I'm about to call out as far as these different, um, these different ranks, uh, that are that are that angels are organizing. You can find this in Colossians one and sixteen. Okay, and their ranks consist of archangels, angels, seraphim, cherubim, principalities, authorities, powers, thrones, might, and dominion. These are the different ranks in the angelic realm. Let me say that again. Archangels, angels, seraphims, cherubims, principalities, authorities, powers, thrones, might, and dominion. So what is an archangel? What is an archangel? Why is an archangel important? First of all, everything that God does, he, he does it in order. He is a master of administration, okay? <laughs> He's a master of administration. And it would behoove us that if, if God, if, if he has the rank as such, all of them, y'all ready for this? Catch this. All of them have been created to protect the sons of God. 
Wow. <laughs> All of them have been created to protect us. Because we're made in his image and his likeness. Y'all, the moment that you accepted Christ, you became a born again believer, you have all of heaven behind and before you. That's powerful. That's why upon one convert, the heavens, all of the heavens rejoice. This is the power of God, you all. I don't know if I need to start even, uh, I need to start on archangels because um, it's almost time. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not. I can't, you all. It's 7-11 there, so we have 19 minutes. Um, Archangels are those who watch. I'll say that they are those angels who walk, watch. So you got Michael, you got Raphael, you got Gabriel, you got Uriel, you got Sariel, Raquel, and you have Remiel. These are angels that watch. I'm going to say it again. These are archangels. Michael is an archangel. Raphael is an archangel. Gabriel is an archangel. Uriel is an archangel. Sariel is an archangel. Ragiel is an archangel. And then the last one is Remiel. So, and I'll deal. We'll discuss. Archangels. Yeah, we'll yeah we'll discuss the archangel. We'll we'll discuss the the what the archangels do, why they are arch angels. We'll discuss that. I don't want to get into it because we will never get through with it. But this is names, Michael Gabriel. Uh huh. The names. Yeah, Michael, Raphael, mm -hmm. okay. Gabriel, mm -hmm. Uriel. Mm -hmm. Sariel, S-A-R-I-E-L, Raguel, R-A-G-U-E-L, and Remiel, R-E-M-I-E-L. Thank you. Absolutely. So we're going to talk, we're going to talk about those archangels right there. We're going to deal with it. We're going to, well, we're going to deal with archangel. I gave you those archangel and and who knows if, if the Lord leads me to tell you what positions they are around the earth, I will. Uh, many of them, some of those, of course, you know that um, that you've read about Michael. We just read about him. Um, you've read about Gabriel, um, him um, being, the, uh, being the archangel. Over You're back, Mr. Burke. He's <laughs> actually the archangel over the word. Um, so we, I, I don't know if he's going to uh, allow me to, to speak about each one of them and what they do. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes we can get so much information that is, that is no good for us. And so I'm, I'm careful at what the Lord um, have me to teach, but he did say it was okay for me to give you those. So maybe we'll deal um, with those that you are, um, that you've been known, um, uh, what you've read. So, all right, you all. It's seven fourteen. There. Do we have any questions? Um, I don't have any questions, but I did have a prayer request. I would like for you to pray for a friend of mine that has been missing for six years. And her name is Holly, so that she be found. And I've just been completely devastated since we found out that she's been missing. And not and if they can't find her, I'd like for you to pray so that they'll have a closure. Absolutely. We sure will. Thank you. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. 
I just want to um, say that from the lesson I'm learning more to be more, or I'm looking at my life and I see where I'm believing more Amen. of what God is actually doing in my life and seeing it manifest. Amen. Things I prayed about years ago um, have are just now coming to fruition. And hey. it's just uh, mind blowing to know that you ask God for something. When we ask Him, you know, He says, You ask, you shall receive. But it's a lot of it has to do with am I b- believing that this is God? Am I, is it really God? Is it me? Is it because I say something or is this is God? And my belief is getting more and more stronger that this is God because nobody else can do it like He can. Hey. Oh. Just like you know, when I had when I had to go to urgent care when I fell and hurt my back, they thought I had they tested me for UTI and kidney stones, and I was like believing God that it would be neither one. And guess what? They said it was neither one. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Any anyone else? Amen. It's good that Deacon Hall is on. I know he's not feeling his best. We celebrate you, man of God. We thank you for tuning in. We bless you. Um, We see also um, Mother Bradley is is on the line. We love you, Mother Bradley. We thank you for taking the time and coming out. Um, we, We bless you. I believe that Sister Julie is on here as well. God bless you. Um, going on there to everyone we see you we see everyone let me see we see okay we celebrate each and every um one of you um, now you know there has to be homework right i told you to read daniels 9 and 10 yes okay all right so how about let me add just a little bit more i want you to look at colossians 1 and 16 okay because we're going to jump right into it um, Colossians 1 and 16, 1 Peter 3 and 22, all right? These are some that I called out anyway, Romans 8 and 38, and then Ephesians 1, 20, 21, and I'll pull it all together, I promise you, and Ephesians, Ephesians what? Ephesians 1, <clears throat> 20 and 21. And then Ephesians 6 and 12. Oh. And you're going to see, and, and, and this is, and what this are, you're going to see a repetition of words, things of that nature. So I just wanted to get into your spirit. So when we get ready <laughs> um, to deal with it, because I want you to understand the principality. I want you to understand what principality is. I want you to understand what power is, okay? I want you to understand what might is, what dominion is. And that, now watch this, now now here's the beautiful thing, that when we learn all of these things, we're going to go back to Genesis and find out that he put it all under our hands. (laughs) Mm. He gave us that, you know, he gave us dominion over the works of his hand. So we have to see ourselves and how God is, how God is growing us. All right, any other questions? All right, let us pray. Merciful Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for each and yeah. one that made a conscious decision to get on this call, to get on this study. Master, we, we celebrate you for your revelation. We celebrate you for your anointing. Yes, we celebrate you, God, just the way you created us. Yes. Celebrate you and how that you've given us power to stand. Uh, that you said that we would be able okay. to trade over serpents and scorpions and that nothing would be able to come against us. Okay. Lord, thank you. Thank you for loving us that much. That not only did you finish the work of the cross, that we would be redeemed, God. But it's by your blood that we can stand in your, in your nature, your character, and your authority. Thank you, O oh God, for loving us. Thank you for establishing us 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, God, I pray that you, over each and every, that you look over, that you, that I pronounce over each and every one of them a blessing that only you're able um, to give. Lord, that you would anoint your people in a way that only you can. Release the spirit of application, God, that everything that they've heard on tonight, Father, that they would utilize it. God, that their walk, that our walk would be circumspectly with you, that our walk would be in alignment, in alignment with you. And God, and in that, when we, when we operate in that manner, you said whatsoever we do, it shall prosper. Oh, I mm. bless your name. I bless your name, God, that your promises are true. I thank you that your word is true. Mm. Now, God, I want you to look over Sister Jody, she's interceding and she's asked for us to intercede for a friend. Father, we're looking for closure. Father, only you know uh, if the body is anywhere, you know where it is. Father, but we send a word to that family, a family of comfort, a word of comfort. And God, you do. You do what you do best and that's not fail. We thank you in advance. We thank you for hearing this prayer. We thank you for answering prayer. Now, God, every assignment that the enemy has tried to bring against each and every one under the sound of my voice, I cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we, we cancel uh, any sickness and diseases because we understand that the enemy can't charge us double for what you've already paid for. We lift our staff up against them that he will see your salvation. And we thank you, oh God, that we can witness and that we can walk in the trueness of your nature. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, we claim the victory. Let every heart say amen. 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 All right, listen, I love you all. I will see you all soon. And uh, y'all make all sure right. you get that. Write them questions down. Because I know you're going to have something, Daniel. Write them questions down. All right? All right. Good night. Love you all.